of uh, what I feel is going to be fine. You understand? Because the, the, the truth of the whole matter is that, you know, we we are all seeing it in the daylight. This is not them see them see. This is not a news, uh, this thing where they go see now fake news. It they happen to us. On yeah. our crow crow eye like this, it happened. I saw so many videos when you share, my brother. And not only on your platform, I also saw the ones because while I was listening to you, I was also checking other, you know, YouTube uh, informations that were coming in from other videos. And I saw yeah. this bunch of terrorist Fulanis that have their guns. And I saw two uh, of the military vehicle that is being shot down already. They are already mm. on fire. And these people, we are jubilating. Then I begin to, you know, I begin to, Ask to imagine within myself. I said, this type of people are in Nigeria right now. This is not happening in Ghana. It's not happening in Chad. Sorry. <laughs> it's not happening in, you know, in, in Niger Republic. This is mm. Nigeria. I remember when Nigeria was leading as the head of ECOMOC back in the days, they would go to Syria alone and go to Liberia to fight war. This is the same Nigeria army that allowed these people to defeat them in their own territory. Mm. And we are here talking about protests. We are here talking about election. Eh? <laughs> you see, those people, they pack during the time of election. I don't know if you guys got that information or you saw those people that were packed on the trailer. I will say this young Fulani, young boys. There is no mm. female among them. These people were literally packed on the big vehicle and they were transported to every part of the eastern state and the, and the, and the middle bed and uh, uh, the south. south we are they going to area. vote? We are they going to vote? No, this that is one thing I want to let you know now that this is this uh, is an agenda. This is an agenda going on. You see those people, the banditry that you are hearing today in Edo State, in Delta State, in the eastern part of Nigeria, in the west, some part of Nigeria, is as a result of those people who were transported, but people did not people did not have the eyes to see the, the, the agenda that is going on. These people, as I'm talking to you right now, these people are all over our forest. They are waiting. They are waiting for the last command. And we are here talking about Nigerian protests. Let me tell you, the truth is that no protests eh, that will save Nigeria right now. These people are already there waiting. They are already in our bush. They are already in our forest. The only thing that will save us, because you see this one Nigeria thing, where, where will they do so? Eh? It will consume all of us very soon. It will consume everybody because we are, you see, we are, we are not, we are not wise enough to understand the plight of these people. And some people we are saying that they are fighting for northern state. They are not fighting for northern state. Too. They are not fighting for Islamic state. They are fighting to conquer the whole western, the whole western, southern Nigeria, the eastern Nigeria, because they believe that if they capture everybody, they will now stand. They will now make Nigeria their own territory. So that they can compete with the West, with the Western mm. world, through our right. resources. So what I'm right. about to say is well, that another thing yeah. again, sorry, bro. Another thing I'm about to say. I want to tell our there is a video. Our there is a video I wanted you to listen to. There is a video uh, I wanted you to me, listen to. Let me quickly uh, round up this one so that I don't forget. Ma another maybe you will say something about the video anyway. Yeah. Continue. And yeah. Another thing I wanted to say is this: you see, like those of our brothers from South South mm. and South East who are in the military let me tell them they are not safe you know why they are not safe you see those uh, full and iboko around uh, repentance that they are putting those are the mm. people doing those are the people doing the assassination now they are the one killing our south south brothers and south south uh, uh, east brothers in the military because these people they don't want to make it look like okay it is a war against south south uh, personnel in the military or south southeast personnel in the military they bring in this this boko around repentance and put them and put them together with you so you don't know that they are your enemy and they will send you to a mission they know that that mission they are sending you the vehicle even the vehicle they will give you is updated the guns they will give you is updated they know and they will call their own full and military uh, 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 terrorists they will say these people are coming to social place and that's why you see that the attack is very easy because there is an intelligence within them that is passing all the information to these same terrorists so that they can attack and when they are sending out these our boys they are sending out people from the southeast that is the reason why you see 
The majority of military people personnel in the southeast, they are made up of the Hausa Fulanis. They are not even, it's just few Igbos and South South, few South South and Southeast are in the military in the Southeast. All of them there are the Fulanis there who are doing their foot soldier, killing our people secretly, killing our young boys. But you see, like the people who are in the North thinking that they are defending Nigeria are the Southeast, uh, 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 Southeast people and the South South uh, military uh, uh, guys who are being sent over there. And all of them, gradually they are taking them off because they don't even they don't even read the lips of these people they don't even know right. what they have all right so what i think i'm going to tell my brothers in the military mm. is that they should be ready to face the consequence if they don't leave that job because there is a plan for these people to wipe them gradually away from the military and if they if they if they are done without we are done finally because this, they know that these are the people that will later come to fight for us and if they take them away we are done so the best now is for us to use our brain god gave us this brain to think if All nigeria right. divide today the every country go their own those of us when they are our own you will see a new job will be created in any of this country we will have new immigration we will have new 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 airport we will have new police and all these things they need people to fill those spaces all these our brothers what would they cry say all these our children mama mama g all this one way they cry say our children not get job you will see when there is a new country there will be new hope people will have job in their countries in military our youth will feel military Arewa will do their own biafra will do their own if we are going to go with Biafra, we are we will, we will do our own. The Southwest, they will also have employment everywhere. This youth, their life will be revived. Everybody will have new hope and new life. So why are we killing ourselves for one country that does not even uh, even 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 value human 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 life? Come on. All right, all right, Mister Condens. I want to ask you a question with this video. Let me see what you are saying has a connection with what the Senator Oyin Abaribe said. Let's take a watch. In trying to remove Jonathan, there were stateless persons that were from the Sahel region that were imported into Nigeria. And a former chairman of PDP made that statement. I'm not, I'm not the person right. that made but, it. But that, but that importation is a fact, is it, it? That importation is a fact. What has happened in Nigeria is that most of the time when something comes up today, we never sit back and say, how did, this, how did we get to this point? Mm. We got to this point by virtue of the fact of the effort to remove President Jonathan. There had always been this had a farmer clash, but it never got to this point where whole communities were exterminated so that some people will be roaming freely within their land, which is what happens in Plato and in Benue mm. State. I think Benue is the worst hit. Precisely. Yeah. And you know why? Because most of the banks of the Benue is lush mm. because it's watered by the um, Benue River. Mm. And so they want... These people came and they want. And who are these people? And that's a question that we have not dealt with. The bill first said that we have to confine these people to the ranches within their states of origin. And somebody right. woke up and said, no, every Nigeria has a right to uh, go around. There's no such thing like a state of origin. Why will anybody make that statement? Reason is that in trying to remove Jonathan, there were stateless persons that were from the Sahel region that were imported into Nigeria. <laughs> mm. All right. I'm trying to connect a dot here. That was a senator, Enya Baribe. He was saying this on a national television, so it's not a private chat. That was um, a rise news. He was saying that uh, the reason why we are having security in Nigeria, that he warned them when they were about to do it. So he's aware of what happened, that they imported Bororo Fundanis into Nigeria to remove Jonathan. And these people now are the ones carrying guns, killing people. So people who imported them, if they do not send them to kill, they will not kill. So someone who imported you is importing you for a purpose. And the purpose is that Gohari said, that if he did not win an election, that blood will flow everywhere in Nigeria. 
So this people has a mission already. And remember that when good Lord Jonathan was about to wipe away Boko Haram, there is something that uh, Buhari still said. Buhari said that any attack against the Boko Haram is a, a, an attack against the North. In other words, the North owns the Boko Haram. And listen to this uh, Ukupe when he was saying this. Any attempt to any attempt to to attack and fight insurgency is an attack on the north. So you know when you have such huge political considerations, there are there are there are difficulties. I mean, Buhari said that in the newspaper, General Buhari said that any attack on Boko Haram is an attack on the north. So what you do as a government, you know, you, you know, so you, you, you want to attack Boko Haram at the same time, a leader, a respected person in society, somebody who carries. I mean, the last vote, in mean, the last election, over 2 million people voted for him from the north. A man like that, you cannot ignore him. Now he says that if you, are, if you continue to attack Boko Haram, you are attacking the north. You must, you must be careful. I am, I am trying to connect some dots, okay? That was a good way. Saying the same thing on Chinese television. That Buhari said if you attack the northerners, meaning you are attacking, if you attack Boko Haram, meaning you are attacking the northerners. Now, this was Fanana seven years ago where Fanana came out to challenge the person who formed Boko Haram. Let's listen to what Fanana said. That is very important. Who started the Boko Haram yes. crisis in Bono State? Yeah. A governor, one Modu Ali Sharif, addressed the press two days ago yes. Yes. and attempted to insult the collective intelligence and memory of Nigerians by denying any links with the dangerous dreaded Boko Haram sect. I did reply him yesterday, and I'm expecting him to sue me, because he said he wanted to sue an Australian. You don't need to go to Australia. What you are looking for in Sokoto is in the pocket of your Sokoto. I'm ready to join issues with him. Now, um, I don't have to play the video for long because I've already gotten, I'm trying to connect some dots. Now, all these Boko Haram members imported by this man, he gave them commission of religious affairs. When these people went to executive meeting of uh, Bono State, they saw that all of them were talking about contract, how to share money. Boko Haram members said that these people are not pure, that they don't have the agenda they themselves have. The man resigned as a commissioner of religious affairs. When he resigned as a commissioner of religious affairs, he said that their mission is not all, all these things they are talking about. Their, their mission is to have a country like Nigeria who will be an Islamic state. But the, the issue is that this governor is still working free today. Nobody is asking him everything. Then, you know what Buhari did? Because Buhari was somebody who accompanied this man who from Boko Haram to do it. Buhari has to induct all of them into Nigerian military. And in Zafara State today, what is going on is that military is killing the police who are in the intelligence, intelligence department. Those who knows what is going on, military will come and kill them. I published a video this morning. Even yesterday, they still killed another policeman in, um, in a Zafara State. Because I'm going to somewhere. The reason why I'm trying to connect us for you people now, still in Zafara State was where this man said that he arrested a lawmaker who is a bandit, a lawmaker. A criminal terrorist is making law. Listen to Commissioner of uh, Police in Zamfara State. We can say now banditry is an industry in Zamfara State. Last month, we arrested a member of the State House of Assembly in banditry here in Zamfara State. We arrested a district head. We also, as well, arrested a former local government chairman. So you can see that involvement of this class of people in banditry is more making the situation to become more and more complex. So in essence, I can say that all caliber of people now are involved all manner of people are involved in this banditry.
Now, for this man, barbitrary is a business. For but for me, it's not a business; it's an agenda. There is a difference between a business and agenda. A house of rep member, a house of assembly member, has money. A governor has money. What we make a lawmaker to join bandits is not because of money. Because we live in a country where people who are politicians have money. If not their salary, the money they, they, they embezzled. You understand? Now, the reason why I'm trying to connect all these dots is that if we are fighting, let us know what we are fighting. If we are fighting, let us know the caliber of men, their, their purpose, their mission, everything. Let us know the people we are fighting. That we are fighting Boko Harams. We are fighting people who already have plan. This, look at all these things that happen when they say they imported Fundanese, they imported people with guns. It happens more than 10 years ago. So these people must have given birth, everything must have graduated. And up to my village in the south south of Delta State. This year, three months, my village people did not go to farm. Before people have to resolve to their cultural way of chasing people, I'll resolve into juju, resolve into so many things for them to be able to start going to farm. Now, why I'm saying it is because I want everyone who will be able to fight anything you know that you can fight for. People who say they want to do this, go and do. People who say they want to do this, go and do. But the truth is that this country is in another dimension. And Iswap was saying that they are going to divide Nigeria. And they, they know what they are saying. And the ultimatum they gave was December. They said they are going to divide this country. Even Shara reporters published it, so many news media published it. They said Iswap Terror Group goes public meeting with Bono residents to recruit new members. Stress is plan to have separate Islamic country. And this is what I was telling you about police who were being killed by military in Zamfara. Said this happened yesterday again. And Runak condemns the killing of police officer by Nigerian soldier in Zamfara. Calls for urgent proof. All these things are happening. I'm just trying to let people know so that they will know the country they are, so that we will know what we are fighting. So that is the issue. Then, um, mommy, HO, you have to unmute your this thing. I want to ask you a question after connecting all these doors. How do you think that this country, or I'm not even talking about this country, the people in the country, that is what I'm after, because there is a difference between the country they are amalgamated and the people in the country. So we are after the people in the country. How can these people go in their separate ways? How can we have freedom? How do you think that all these things will be solved? And from the connection I gave you from these videos, you know that these people is nothing but agenda. All this thing we are seeing is it's an agenda. So I don't have to say it. That was why I was trying to bring some videos from point to point to connect what is going on. So um, I want to hear from you, uh, Mama H.O. You see, it is time for all Nigerians, whether Rewao, whether Biafra, all of us to know that we are already in war. Mm. We're already in it. But the truth is this. Some people are still busy waiting for 2027. So that is why they will begin to carry propaganda of APC for them. So people were not prepared with their agenda and they don't camp for not bushes. And then they show us where they carry corn. And they don't even they test that to they collect the the military weapons and their ammunition trunk from there. And we will dare to fight ourselves with this unit. <laughs> Do you? Okay, mom. Do you believe now that Nambekano was right? He is right. Yeah. Is because, right. yeah, because everything I'm seeing now is all about what this man has said, time with that number. And I believe that Nambekano is the only person who saw, according to people, they say in total, who saw everything about what these people are. And I believe that is why they are still holding him up to today. He's right. Because he knows He's the right. truth about everything that is going on. Antonio, me, I don't like you. 
But if you know one made they collect country from your hand, no carry your military people. Mom, is this a is this a country? A country wait, where wait, wait. as I'm as I'm talking to you, mommy. I'm sorry. As I'm talking to you, you hear that they, they have talked to 150 people from the same place they keep that area. Those 150 people, I am just getting the news now that that 150 people have been killed today. You see? Just imagine. No, so this see? is not a country. You, you see, uh, let me finish that my sentence. So to okay. me, I don't like you. But for the sake of my children, you get to do something. And this is my only two advice for you. Pack your soldiers and your men. Make you prepare them. Not take a fo follow my children. Then for you to have enough people to, to fight for you, release Una and the Kano so that it will help you to take care of the peace in the, in the East. Why you have enough people to, to fight? And if he did not do that, my young children in the military, your blood is not for sacrifice. Not because of 50,000 in a month, which is not up to $50 in a month. You understand? Design. Make could not leave the people when they chop money and they donate a, 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 a truck. Because that truck, I can tell you, now that now our people went the military. When he said them, oh, and I donate them. Because mm. there was no battle for them to collect them, those vans from them. Mm. There's no. So why are we deceiving ourselves? Your mm. military officer, if they don't listen to us and give you people the necessary things, there are drones that will help you people to do your job well. If they're not ready to make this provision, resign and let Tinubu sons, Sheyi and their babakus that are carrying Tinubu on head, may they go fight for them. Because you, are, you, you get wife, you get mama, you get brother, you get sister. They will not take care of them if they don't take you to sacrifice. Make all of them resign. Because this uh, 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 happy, if in Nigeria government they see they do that, they are dancing of deceiving themselves, not us. You know what is going to happen? That December matter go happen. That December go happen. You see, I go to channel that I know they know they just present it. That is why you see me in your channel now. That you know they just come they present. You they do your research where? Yeah. And, and they try, it. and I need help. I go there because they speak the truth. So Nigerians, let us be ready to stop this our propaganda. Truth is truth. It cannot change at any time. We are already in war. One fifty. They just, they just kill the like chicken. Nah, our waiting. Our doctors. They don't they protest so. She be before all of us that is an anoma. But now, do you know? You see, when he, when he, when I realized that some some of my uncles and daddies will travel from here to Nigeria and they will kidnap them and they will never return back. Some of them they will kill them, buy them in the hotel room. So me and you in that Western world, we are not safe, we are not free too. So if you think so, you don't stay here now, you don't be, it, it's okay, it's a lie. The demand now, it, it, this is hunger, don't call as a weapon, as hunger becomes weapon of mass destruction. The demand that they are demanding from you, you and me when they are abroad, it never increase. So we are we free? It is time for us to speak in one voice. All right, all right, ma. Thank you so much. So, on the 24th of uh, this month, I think that is 23, 24th, um, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, P.O.B. Mazenam De Kano, will be appearing before the court of law. And from uh, the necessary information I have, um, the federal government intended, I don't really know whether they have changed their mind. You know, federal government will have, they are like chameleon. There are people that will say something to them, will not use it to work. So, 
they said that the federal government intended to you know to withdraw these suits on the next um, next uh, court case so we don't really know whether they will really withdraw the suit but for me i don't think it's important again for federal government to withdraw the suit because the the court date is already at hand i think the court should just pass the law anything they, they pass the judgment i mean to say and everyone knows that the nm the will never be found guilty based on the mistakes the federal government like there is something that the um Jose Kome, the senior uh, advocate of nigeria said he said that he has finished he has seen everything about kano's case that kano no longer have a case that federal government is just deliberately holding him that he don't have a case any longer so this is september now because we are talking about issue of insecurity here and there i believe it's my opinion though i believe that if now the kano is released eh, the insecurity in the southeast will reduce if in fact not it will reduce it will stop that is what i believe the insecurity in the southeast will stop and like my own place most of the things that happen in the southeast indirectly affect my own place because i'm from delta state most of the things that happen in onisha must affect asaba and all those areas in fact when i will be a protesting they protest in my own place they protest in asaba and so on and so forth so i believe that this man deserve um, freedom not his deserve freedom this man in fact is needed to be free because of some situations around but the question i'm asking is this in case the federal government for their own personal agenda refuse that this man will not be free on this particular day we are talking about three weeks from today being first of september what do you think that people should do mama ho you can unmute yourself. You see, Yoruba say Abaro, last of all, Molua, Bitobati, Dinu, and Ado Didi. I know you. It means say, now small world, now you they tell the king when it gets sense. Mm. And if that word enter, and you go take and use. There is war already declared. What this full learning terrorist group has said that will happen in December will happen. And if Tunubu will not want it to happen, for him to have more men to be able to fight this war for him, release Unandi Kanu so that he can take care of the peace that is needed in the East. And those men that is positioning there, they can go and fight this war. But if he refuse to do it, anything when they see, make them take up. And when that happened, my sons and daughter in the military, that they are paying peanut, leave because they are donating you for sacrifice. Then let Tinubu eat the Eba and uh, Abado that he has used his indecision to take. And All he right. also enjoy the breakfast that rigging of a leisure has provided him. Because from every indication, he used 20 years plus to prepare on how to rig a leisure. And he did not use that 20 years to prepare to solve the problem that he know that has already been existing. That is why he's coming with policy that is not making head. Abi Okocha, is there any problem that Tunubu is seeing now that has not been there? Absolutely no. All right, ma. You have answered it. Um, Rakondis, let us go uh, a few break. While we come back, we will listen to what Kenneth Okonko said about uh, the detention of Namdekano. Please stay with me. You can also go break as well. I know that you have been here for um, a little bit longer. Thank you so much. Oh, 